Today is the day I'm finally going to teach you guys how to organize your mods folder. So you're welcome. <laughs> I feel like some of you guys may need this and who else is better to teach you than me, myself, and I. I am no stranger to a huge mods folder. If we take a look at my mods folder, I'm currently sitting at 45 gigabytes worth of custom content and mods. So combined, that's a lot. And I wanna pass along some of the knowledge that I've gathered throughout the years and downloading so much. How do I keep track of it all? How do I keep it organized? How do I know what's working, what's not working so get ready and take some notes first things first let's talk about custom content just so we can get that out of the way i think for me custom content is pretty simple to manage so long as you keep up with it and if you haven't take the time to really sort it out so i like to organize my custom content based off of categories like accessories hats tops clothing hair shoes there's just so many ways you can organize but that's the way that i like to do it you of course can do it by like gender you can do it by creator you can do it by by so many different ways it's just what you want and how you want to organize your cc folders but one thing that i suggest is always having a new cc folder so just in case you go bin shopping you go crazy and download so many files there's always that new cc folder that you can drop all those new items in and then load them up into your game see which ones you like some see which ones you don't like sometimes things come corrupt or not working so then you'll always have that new cc folder to refer back to and be like oh it's something in there that I've downloaded recently. Once you've vetted all your new custom content, then you can go ahead and organize them to their proper folders. Like if it's a, a top, obviously I'm gonna put it in my clothes CC. If it's a hair, obviously I'm gonna put it in my hair CC folder. Therefore, I know where things go and belong. And it's sort of like neatly organized. Sounds pretty simple, right? Once you've gotten that all the way, when it comes to custom content, you should also be running batch fixes and merge your CC files together. It helps your Sims 4 load up faster. So I definitely suggest you do that. If you guys want me to, I'll cover that in a different video, but we're not gonna go into that any further. You guys can look up videos if you wanna do so and figure out how that goes. Next, let's take care of our mods. I play with a lot of mods. I'm currently playing with about 100 plus-ish mods right now at the moment. And the way that I keep them organized is that I like to create a list of all of those the mods that I use in my Sims game. That's why you'll see under each mod there is a number for them and the reason that that's there is because i keep a whole different spreadsheet for my mods it's a problem it's a lot i know most of you won't have this issue because most of you probably don't use this many mods i do that's why i gotta keep this so heavily organized and crazy but i honestly do suggest keeping it organized this way even if you don't have that many and you have a handful i think it makes things a lot easier for you either way you already see the spreadsheet working it's magic one corresponds with number one mod two corresponds with number two mod three with three so on so on it helps me see just in this spreadsheet what it is that i have in my mods folder so purple for me means that it's in my game and it's working just in case you didn't know this every time there is an update for the sims game that means that mods are going to break. And that means that there are gonna be some mods that are still working and some mods that are not working. And you gotta take those out every single time and work through the mods that you have. That's why I think this is a good system to work with. So purple means that they're working, they're in my game. Green means that they're currently, for whatever reason, I just don't want them in my game right now, but they are working. So let me know, hey, 
this is updated. You just don't have it in your game right now. Simple enough. Red means that it's not working. This mod has not been updated to my knowledge and I can't put that in my game. It's not working properly. And that lets me know, hey, go check if this to see, is this mod updated now? Should I now put it in my game? It also helps me find where it is in my mods folder when it comes time to those updates and be like, let me look for it. There it is. Let me take it out. Yellow means that I'm not really sure. Sometimes certain mods, they just don't show you right away if they're working or not. And I'm a little iffy. I'm not 100%. Maybe the creator of the mod hasn't come out and said anything either when it comes to those updates. So I'm not really sure. So I'm a little wary and be like, okay, these are ones to look out for. I'm not sure if they're working and they might be causing issues in my game. Obviously, blue are going to be highlighted next to on the number. That's mostly for you guys i leave my mods folder link you can find it down below in the description of this video in the about me section you guys can peruse my mods folder if you want if you care to do so i see some of you guys in here already so that just lets you know hey there's a video on my channel for this mod go ahead and look for it on my channel and then finally cyan when it comes to the link because i also have next to my mods a link to the website where i found it where i can find it because it makes life so much easier to just be like oh uh call a mod where did i get this is has this been updated let me go check and then it leads me directly to where i need to go so that's very helpful but cyan just means that oh it lets me know this and you guys me and you it lets you know this needs an update this mod is working yes but it needs an update not the best system but it works for me and this is what i've been using for a very long time so i am in no mood to change this system right now so when it comes to all this i really do suggest you doing something along these lines especially if you have a lot of custom content especially if you have a lot of mods you just want to get organized being organized is the best way to care for your game to keep up with things that might be broken that might need updating no one said playing with custom content and mods are easy like i always say simming with a lot of cc and mods takes organization patience and dedication <laughs> but in the end i think it's worth it it's just up to you and if you think that it's worth it as well. And last but not least, I want to show you guys a trick to detect corrupt CC, outdated mods, mods that are no longer working for you or messing up your game. This is foolproof and it's really easy and most likely you may know about it already. And a lot of people use it and that is the 50-50 method. 50-50 is really easy, but it takes some time. So let's just say you have so many mods like I do and something is wrong with your game. Recently, I've experienced this one glitch where when I go to a restaurant and there is a dress code enabled, Sims will not show up without dress code. Neither Sims nor the workers. So what did I have to do? The 50-50 method. I went ahead and grabbed half of the total of the mods that I have and took those out loaded up my game and checked to see if the there was still a problem so when i took those out lo and behold my game was working properly as it should that told me that these 50 mods that i just took out there is a mod in there that's causing that issue i should do the 50 50 method with this bunch therefore that lets me know that the other half is clear it's safe those mods are good and so the search continues so within those 50 mods i grab another half of those take them out load up my game see if it's working if it's not that tells me that there's a mod within that group that's not working i really hope that i'm explaining this pretty clearly and easy but you take those now you take that new group of mods cut them in half take one out keep the other one in load up your game see if you're still having that same issue until you finally narrow it down all the way to that one mod folder that's causing that issue or that one cc file that's causing that issue so on and so on and it helps you narrow it down so for me i finally narrowed it down and ended up being wicked whims so that was causing this issue i guess i had just not updated it and so my sims were just not loading up with the proper attire and voila i fixed my game I know there's a lot of talking and rambling, 
I hope this video guy helped you guys out. This is gonna take a lot of work, a lot of time and patience. So bear with yourself, bear with your custom content folder, bear with your mods folder. But please, please, please keep it organized <laughs> for the sake of your Sims game. Let me know if you have any questions. I will most definitely be answering them in the comments down below. That's all that I have to share. And I will see you all in my next video. So bye for now.